so hello friends you all are welcome in this uh, virtual lab number two the current voltage characteristics of a junction diode and uh, this is also the complementary part of this lecture series csbt physics learn with me hi dr Manoj Verma from Department of Applied Physics, Sri Sankarachai Technical Campus. Welcome you all. So the outline, the introduction of virtual lab, then the I'm of really this virtual lab and operators required, and the theory of virtual lab experiment number two, and then the procedure and the instruction to the student and demonstration. So objectives. Lab work is as important as theory as I have mentioned in the first virtual lab. And the objectives of this virtual lab is to perform online the lab on virtual lab platform. And the prerequisite is the knowledge of concept of lab related theories. And the Windows platform with good internet and a Java enabled web browser because this is uh, the online uh, experiment. So obviously this will need a good internet connectivity. I am of this value and operators required to draw the static characteristics, the IV characteristics of this junction diode. And uh, this is actually, I think, uh, the general diode here we will include. And operators required are diode, the register, and variable DC power supply, multimeter, uh, millimeters, voltmeter, and the rheostat, and the wire for um, different connections. So, you know the general theory of uh, PN junction diode, and this is actually the semiconductor diode, which is uh, a very common type of diode, which is a piece of semiconductor material with PN junction connected to two terminals. I have diode allows electric current to pass in forward direction, that is known as forward biasing, and block current in the uh, reverse direction means reverse biasing. The behavior of this diode in a circuit is given by its uh, uh, IV characteristics, current voltage characteristic. The shape of curve is determined by the transport of charge carriers through the depletion layer that exists in this PN junction. So, a diode is a two terminal electronic component with an isometric transfer characteristic with a low resistance to current flow in one direction, that is in forward direction, and a high resistance to current flow in the other direction. A semiconductor diode is most common type of diode. So I am skipping some points because this is a common topic and uh, I think uh, this has already been uh, covered in uh, uh, theory portions. So when PN junction diode is first created, a diffusion of holes and electrons track pins through the junction. As a recombination of process, more ions are created at the junction and the built-in potential is developed at the depression zone. If the voltage of same polarity at that of built-in potential is applied across the junction, the depletion zone acts as an insulator preventing significant current flow through the junction. This is a reverse bias phenomena. Okay, so let's start the procedure. So we have to make uh, that uh, circuit, uh, um, that connectivity using this circuit diagram and uh, these are the uh, components that are your stored and uh, uh, these are, uh, this is voltmeter and uh, these are a meter and uh, this is that diode and this is key this is battery and the two resistance and uh, the connection is being followed uh, using this circuit so after completing this uh, connection uh, click combo box under general diode button and uh, enter the value of series resistance value of rotor resistance can be set changed by using the slider and repeat by changing the series resistance and note down the corresponding results so this is the link which I will follow uh, for the, that demonstration purpose and we have to start and uh, finally you have to make a report including the IM of this uh, lab work and observation table similar to I am going to show you and one IV characteristic by using simple uh, plotting tools or you can plot uh, uh, using graph also and five questions and the answer of five questions of assignment you have to uh, given that uh, uh, include in that report mentioned in the link so this is uh, the format of that uh, observation table this is serial number one numbers and uh, this is uh, that input voltage and then output voltage, uh, input current and uh, then output voltage and some points uh, uh, preliminary points and uh, this is that uh, sample plot 
so plot a graph between input voltage given in column 2 and uh, that input current in column taking bi along x axis and uh, li along y axis okay so let's start uh, that uh, demonstration uh, by applying this uh, link Okay, so this is uh, that uh, online tool virtually which you have to use where the IM operators and the theory which I have uh, mentioned earlier is uh, listed here and the procedure is given and this is that circuit diagram and uh, we have to connect make a connection like this so now the third part is the simulator and this is simulator so you have to activate uh, this uh, uh, flash player so, now hello okay so so this is uh, that uh, different components are here and we have to assemble by using uh, connecting wire so let's start from the second uh, this part so this is that diode here and we have to make connection with this resistance and uh, uh, this voltmeter this is the voltmeter so let's start uh, connecting this uh, with uh, this and uh, this with uh, this okay so Okay, so this part is over. Now this generator and this diode will be connected with uh, meter and this resistance. So let me make this connection with this and this is the resistance. Now this resistance is connected with this area stored. So this area stored and then this voltmeter and the battery part is here. So let's make connection with this voltmeter. So voltmeter is now connected here and then this battery part is here so let me make a connection with this battery okay so okay still the connection is uh, it's not active means there is some problem so let uh, now it's completed because this general diode is also connected with this serial stored with this so this is now complete so we will set key and uh, we have two options one for this visit and another for this visit so we can start here and uh, we can fix uh, here this uh, resistance let's say 500 ohm or 1000 kilo ohm and then this is for the zero volt so we can change voltage by sliding this and uh, for 0.5 point, uh, 0.1 and 1.5 up to 10 volt we can uh, make changes and uh, corresponding this current and voltage can be measured uh, from this so the output valve will be here this output part is this VL this IZ and VL is there so this is output voltage this is input voltage and current uh, can be measured from this point okay so then next part will be the assignment so five questions are here and uh, you can put these values and get the answer by using the simulator and uh, uh, write the answer and it is not uh, so typical and uh, references are here and uh, thank you for this uh, particular uh, providing us this, uh, this simulator